hey gang welcome or welcome back to my channel um i'm just waking up i literally just had to give myself that burst of energy to do the intro um still really tired i don't know why i have been feeling i don't know why i have been feeling so drowsy lately and so like fatigued i think my period is about to come on so that's probably why um and you know just going through some things so i'll have another video talking about all of it but if you read by the title you know today is the day. i am going to see my husband in concert yet again Mr. Jermaine Lamar Cole, yes, he's coming to Philly. It is October 27th. It is, let me look at my phone. It's 10 16 and let me go to my Instagram to check my countdown because I definitely have a countdown for this man. Um, we see Bay in nine hours, 43 minutes, and 17 seconds. So, yes. <laughs> Um, y'all know I'm extra, y'all know I'm a little obsessive when it comes to this man, so it, you know, it's only fitting I made a countdown. Fun fact, he was supposed to come September 29th, but he ended up moving the tour to this month, October 27th, just because of production and he wanted everything to be right, and I respect that. But, um, J. Cole, if you ever come across this video, it's going to be after the concert now. I'm just expecting a lot of surprises since you moved our date. <laughs> I, I need all of Dreamville on the stage. I need you performing every song that you possibly can. <laughs> and I'm just expecting a grand show tonight because you moved our shit from the 29th of September basically a month later you don't know you had me in shambles I was crying I was literally crying I was so sick so um you know if you guys aren't familiar I did a vlog for the KOD concert so I thought it would only be fitting if I came back with a vlog for the off-season tour um I am going with my boo he will not be videoed you guys know that <laughs> Um, I don't think he will ever be videoed. You probably see a fucking hand or a leg or something, but you will never see his face. It's just, that's something that I care about and I just don't want that part of my life being showed, seen, or even talked about. But um, I'm not going by myself and I did go with Lauren last time, so Lauren was in my videos and stuff like that. But this particular person is not going to be in my videos. I, I, yeah, just no. So, um... Yeah, so that's that. Um, we have fairly good seats. Um, I couldn't get the side that I wanted. I wanted to be on the exact same side that I was at the KOD concert, but it just didn't turn out like that. I think it was either like, by the time I ordered the tickets, it was too far back and I just wasn't, like I'm already on an upper level or lower level. I don't know, but I'm already, like I don't do floor seats at all. I don't do floor seats. I did floor seats with Heather and Donald years ago, and we almost got into like three fights. So, floor seats are just not for me. Um, what else? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I think I hopped everywhere. Okay, yeah. So I'm vlogging. Thought it would be fit in a vlog. Um, you guys will see my hair transformation because right now under this bonnet. It looks a mess. I literally got caught in a monsoon the other night. Um, it started raining when I got off work and I got caught in it. So uh, my hair looks very, very crazy. I have an appointment, a hair appointment at 3. I actually was going to go downtown to see if I can spot J. Cole today. But my hair looks such a fucking mess. I, would, I don't even want him to see me like this. So yeah, I'll just be in house. I'm going to go make some breakfast hang with my mother and then I'll probably head out around like two o'clock to go to my hair appointment I'll show a little bit there and then you guys will really really see me in a mix at the concert um I'm vlogging on my camera right now but as you guys know um once I get to Wells Fargo 
I'm going to be vlogging on my phone because I absolutely am not bringing my camera, my $750 camera, into a fucking arena and have a, a fucking mess up where it falls and my screen cracks. No, 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 we're not doing that. So I'm just going to bring my camera. I'll vlog my day on my camera and I'll vlog the concert on my phone. What I tell y'all, y'all going to get this good iPhone 11 work. Okay. <laughs> So I will see you guys later. I'm so excited. What did I say in the last one? It's J. Cole Day. <laughs> it's J. Cole Day. I changed the camera settings and it looked really different. It looked like I'm like vlogging. See y'all inside. Oh, we good. Gates are open. Let's go.
You know we were supposed to do this shit a long time ago. I was scared and shit. I ain't gonna feel you. So long for me at the end of the day. I appreciate y'all for waiting on me, you know what I mean? And I got a feeling we might have saved the best motherfucking city for last, you know what I mean? It might have been that. So I had a vision for this tour when the album dropped. What I wanted to do was, I wanted to come in these big ass fucking arenas and niggas be balling and shit. And um, I wanted to step in front of thousands of people on this big ass, scary ass stage. And I wanted to be able to come up here and bring y'all these real motherfucking bars. I wanted to bring them back. Yes, and that's why you fucking bring these fucking bars! And if it's one thing I know about Philadelphia when it comes to this rap shit, I know Philly got an appreciation for these motherfucking bars. There's too many yes, rappers in this fucking city. So is that cool with y'all? Can we get into some bars? Shit, is that cool? Yes, really? Is that all right? Let's do it. This next song contains a large quantity, uh, a very large amount of, of cat. You know what I mean? It's a lot of cat in this next fucking song. I ain't gonna it's know. okay, baby. I gotta be honest. You're doing a lot of fucking cat in this fucking next song. It's a lot of, it's a lot of exaggerations. However, the spirit of this song, really, the meaning of this song is 100% real. It's 100% true. What this song is about is it don't matter how fucking high you get on the totem pole, how much money you get, how successful you become. Do not ever lose that fucking passion and that hunger for that shit that got you there in the first place. Don't do it. Don't do it. If you do it, you might as well let it go. But while you got it, hold on to this shit. Let's try this. It's like a rush. But I say this, 
with that rush you get from them, from those type of records, like quote unquote hit records or whatever, with that rush, it's a beautiful feeling. But the danger is this, you become like damn near addicted to that feeling of that rush. So as an artist, when you when you hop on the stage in front of a whole lot of people, you'll fuck around and be afraid. Girl, you can't find, find young man with an old man mind. No time for this shit before the whole man kind. throat hurts and I'm very satisfied with how everything went and I hope you guys like the footage that I insert because I was literally all over the place so hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and it brings some, bring, brung back some memories from the KOD tour 